Hello everybody, welcome to another Legacy video. If you're a Legacy player and love to see my Legacy video, let me know in the comments because, you know, I don't often play this format. Uh, these videos are uh, you know, less popular than the modern one, but I do enjoy uh, playing Legacy, so here I am. Uh, today on stream, we're doing the Legacy Day. I finished my league with Mono White pa uh, Death and Taxes and now we're doing Mono Red Painter. Uh, this deck is probably the best deck in Legacy right now. It is winning a lot, and it won the most important tournament of the season on Magic Online, which is the Mox uh, Playoff. Uh, sorry, Showcase. Uh, whenever I go to Four Season lately, Painter is a deck I play against the most. So it could possibly be that this deck is not only the most, uh, not only the best deck, but also like the, the most played one. And it is not something that you might hear or expect to hear, but I believe that is the case right now, ever since they banned expressive iteration as well as adding the Orkish Bowmaster to the format. Uh, this is the Urza Saga deck, so you have a lot of angles of attack. One is the uh, combo of Painter Servant plus Grindstone, and then you have the Grind Package with Urza Saga, you have Fable of the Mirror Breaker, which is uh, an extraordinary tool, and they're also splashing for Bowmaster with uh, a couple of Fetchlands, Bedlands, Mox, Opal, and Lotus Petal. Um, you also have six Power Blasts, which is always a great place to be. Seeing Goblin Welder in the deck is kind of awkward because it's a 1-1 one -one and it dies to Orc, but I guess you side it out, and if they don't have Orc, this is the most important card because it can just go off. Uh, Magus and Moon is better than Blood Moon because of Force of Vigor and Bozage, you commonly play it against you. I am not the most expert with this archetype, actually I remember playing uh, uh, lead with this deck already for my stream a few um, months ago, maybe, and I remember struggling a lot. This deck had a lot of obscure lines that uh, you need to be, you need to be definitely experienced to discover. Yeah, in paper you could add Chaos Defiler to the deck. I don't know much that would improve the deck, but definitely a little bit for sure. You're a big legacy fan. Nice. Healing Giruda, Doom of Depths. We have Red Elemental Blast for it. I'll go Ancient Tomb Painter and I'll say Blue. So that my Red Elemental Blast can even be a Stone Rain now. Ancient Tomb. Among, if not the best card in Legacy right now. Basically, power nine. Embodies in a single land, a land plus a colorless mox. So it's card advantage. Oh wow, opponent goes turn one grief with uh, pitching passenger seer. That is the initiative card. But they, they can't scam me because they can't play uh, reanimate or uh, the scum effect, because they don't have uh, odd cards in their deck. The Thoughtless Bug also happens with Grief. Uh, now I'm wondering whether I should go uh, Goblin Engineer. I think so. Just put a Grindstone in the graveyard and be ready to win the game next turn. Grief is bug too, with like Thoughtseize? Yeah. Uh, where's the grind? There it is. Go. Call an engineer. So good. Now they can have Orcish Bowmaster, Dothy Boatwalker, none of these cards matter. Yeah, if I name black, they can't snuff out my painter servant. That's definitely a thing you do against uh, decks with. I remember losing that way. I was playing my uh, Sultai Scam before Orc, and I had snuff out in hand. My opponent named black. Point concedes because next turn, what do we do? Is we exchange Great Furnace with Grindstone. We play land with Miller opponent out. This is a combo, a two cards combo that Miller opponent out. Very easy game so far. Um, mm, 
I mean, I could bring in orc to handle my opponent orc. That's something that you can do. Uh, I'm curious about this engineering bridge. No, brought the kid. But I, again, I played against uh, a person with four Japanese uh, goblin welders from Urza's Legacy. I believe I even took a picture of that. But no, again, when I go to four season, Mono Red Painter is the deck I play against the most. There was a four season of nine rounds I played against it three times. Um. I, I don't I don't know what's going on here. It's it's difficult to side against the deck there. You have no idea what's going on. I think Fury might be good. I think I wanna just take a goblin welder. My opponent must play the My opponent must play the the orc. Yeah, we could have holed up the combo for sure. I guess it worked out because we didn't do it. Okay, Senior Traders, incredibly much worse than Urza, than Ancient Tomb. Ancient Tomb is a power 9. Senior Traders is a Lotus battle, like if... In the in the power 9 comparison. Oh wow, opponent goes no Rod, so... No more combo, but that's okay, this deck is not uh, the... Uh, the... Um, All-in combo that just dies to no Rod. I think I don't mind to go Saga here. I just make Construct and pressure them this way. Alternatively, I can go Land Go, Saga. I can just slow down. Maybe that's also fine. Yeah, let's just go slow down. Let's just slow down. No need to be that fast. I don't, I don't actually, I don't know what my opponent plays, but I feel like. No, but like in the comparison of. Uh, if Ancient Tomb is a land attached to a Mox, Seed of Traders is a land attached to a Lotus Petal. Again, very good one, but, you know. It's just in uh, extreme uh, analysis, I wanted to explain how good is Ancient Tomb, because people don't realize it. Like, for example, in Cube, this card should be taken. Top 10 picks, something like that. Or, again, in, 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 in Legacy as well. Giving advice on how to metagame in Legacy. One model, please, if you're, if you're interested in that, listen to the podcast we made yesterday. If you go to our podcast, uh, me and Javier, you can find it on every, any podcast platform, honestly. We talk about legacy so, so, so much. It's an hour podcast. Javier just played the mocks where he, you know, met a game and et cetera. So. It's on every podcast platform and on my YouTube channel now with faces as well. Once again, the grief bug, back to back games. The grief, the thoughts is bug, back to back games. Imagine that. Is Team Fill still the thing? No, but Reanimator is good, yeah. I don't know about Team Fins. Uh, what do I put in the graveyard? The, there's no rod, so. Whatever I put is not going to be as good. But I guess Braze the Prince finds two bodies. Probably better than the rest. And go. Just one blast and the combo is on? Yeah, but I don't know. I feel like... I feel like we just have the Saga game now. Ooh. Dogstain Mire too. I feel like we just have the Saga game now, so... I'm just relaxing here. I just make a construct and top make another one. Then I get the grindstone with the saga. Spell Skittles, I believe that the leaks uh, level uh, dropped uh, severely in modern since they added the. <laughs> All access thing. All right. So the construct. Remember, Grip Furnace is not at mana with no rod in play. So 
So let's get grindstone. It doesn't do anything, but that's fine. That's what Norbert said in the flavor text. But it doesn't do anything. No, it does nothing. That's different. Top for three, opponent goes to nine. I mean, I think is that ancient tomb is like the the card I mentioned is broken, whatever. If you win the game, if all you do is casting more snuff out and three two that costs double black, then ancient tomb is not as good. Like in the, in the previous game, it's the card that made me that made me win the game, and that's just why painter is so good in modern. Look, look what my opponent is doing. They're doing all this like anti. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, you can't do that. I'm like, I don't care. It's just a versus saga. Like versus saga just changed the shape of a uh, a lot of these. Uh... Basically, versus saga is a B plan that just makes sideboard cards very awkward now. Like sideboarding against artifact decks used to be easy. Force of Vigor is still great though. That's why we have the Magus, I guess. Like, this is why, if you listen to the podcast, I say about this, that I see decks with three Wasteland, and I think it's crazy. Because if your deck decides to not play Saga and to be a fair deck, like the Delver decks, you must play four Wasteland, because otherwise you just die to Saga every time. Like, Legacy is just this world where decks are just overpowered. Lands are just so good that you must play four wasteland if you decide to play wasteland deck like seeing three wasteland is just it's just wrong in my opinion if you're interested in delver decks i wrote an article for channel fireball which is now free and it's very easy to access you go to channel fireball legacy and uh this is my legacy uh, grixis delver deck article with cyber guide of course Um, do I want to go Saga turn one? I'll put in Spling Flaxton of Troke here. I don't want to go Saga turn one. Although if they wasteland my bad lands, it's kind of bad. No, it's okay. If they do that, it's okay. Let's go Spell Bomb. Normally you would have, uh, not Spell Bomb, but since we have Splash and Black, you play Spell Bomb. You need to get sleeves, you have a code. I don't, but if you purchase from this link, the Ultimate Guard link, you will track that uh, you shopped something with my code. Civil Library. Okay. I don't know if you're, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, if you're coming to Barcelona, but I can also give you some sleeves in Barcelona. All right, let's go Urza Saga now. And let's go Goblin Engineer. Um, I want to put the... I don't want to put the Grindstone because I can get it here. Although, I'm assuming they're going to Wasteland me now. I just get the Dragon Engine, although it costs 5 mana so much. Yeah, I think it's just better to start with the Dragon Engine there and then... And then we'll see next. So this card is uh, five mana. You unearth it. You just discard your hand rough, or it's like an Ox of Agonas. So you can put it there with uh, Old Golden Engineer. This is why this card sees play. I'll put it to eight damage. That's crazy. And they whistle in my saga. Yeah, I think in Legacy right now there's three series of decks that are playable. Honestly. It's the combo decks, which don't play either Saga or Wasteland, and then the Saga and the Wasteland deck. Yeah, I think you, you must be one of these three categories to be competitive. Lotus but totally interesting. I'll uh, just slow down and go in, and go Goblin Engineer again. This time I'll put Grindstone in the graveyard. I can get Bajuka Bog, I know. There's only one Grindstone left. If they Bajuka Bog me.
The hand now is kind of dysfunctional. The yeah, ultimate guard offers right now the katana sleeves and the cortex sleeves. Uh, the katana sleeves are slightly more expensive and slightly better, but they're they're both they're both fine. I use I use both of them very much. No 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 problems of course. I'm just gonna get Bushuka bogged now. And again, maybe it wasn't ideal because this play was kind of scripted. Maybe I shouldn't have done it. Ah, uh, not a wasteland. Sorry about it. Okay, wow. This is a great draw. Now we can go Siege of Traitors. Uh, I can go Painter Servant. I'll name Blue and I can Red Elemental Blast the uh, Elvish Reclaimer. And attack for one. Uh, I don't know if I should play this painter. Maybe I should. Just in case they force me to crack this bomb. My opponent is at seven. They're gonna, they're gonna stop taking damage now. White. All right, they're plowing my uh, painter servant. I'll allow it. And next we're gonna reliquary. It's so cool that Red of the Blast is a live card against that Abzan deck. Top and draw. Goblin Welder. Okay. I want to play this painter. I think I do. I want to just use all my mana just in case. Just blue again. Hey, do I want to play this painter? Sorry, this petal. Yeah, I will. Pass. My hand is on the table. There are seven with three cards in hand and a library which is the fueling all your card advantage right now. Line does this thing where they paint the card in blue, like this is Izzet, this is Tree Collar, and so on. It's weird, but it lets you look at things that you can never look at, like you can never see this petal like this. Card being blue doesn't do anything, it doesn't add for blue man or it's just blue. Okay, my opponent goes Natural River and Query Tap. Dark Depths. What's the goal of the deck? We have various plans. Uh, the main one is to kill them with Painter Servant Grindstone. My opponent puts a 2020 into play, which is very scary because this means that they probably also have a crop rotation. Grindstone. Let's play this. Now. If I get Grindstone, I don't have mana to activate it, because it costs 3, I only have 2 mana. My opponent has crop rotation, I think, so it can get protection. I think I just need to get the engineering bridge. I think that's my only, my only out here. Yeah, again, if I get Grindstone, I just don't have uh, 
I just don't Nirvana, so I'm just gonna put in Zero Inspiration in the graveyard, and then I can use the Goblin Well there to switch. Ooh, 21 life! I didn't think that. I didn't think of that. Huh. I should have maybe not done anything then. Should have just gotten Grindstone then. Not afraid of a second Bajuka Bog. We should have been. I should have just switched my turn. But if I do that in my turn instead of being combat, it dies to prismatic ending. Yeah, they can give their creature protection for blue, that's, that's a good point. Uh, no Teemos, this is just water from the tap. No magnesium or salt. Nothing. Yeah, I think they had for sure crop rotation there. If I get the grindstone, I think I die to the line you said, which is a uh, uh, grip protection from blue to net of the red quarry, and then I can't block because all my creatures. Are... All right, my opponent goes with grist the hunger tide. Uh, sure. Let's see if they use it to mill another copy of grist. Let's see if they might. No, it's a maze of it. All right, begin combat. Uh, let's switch creatures. Uh, do I want to switch? Yeah, I think I'll switch his spell bomb for engineering bridge. Grindstone is 3 mana to act. Ooh, I can also draw a card. I didn't think about that. Do I want to draw a card here? Is there a world where I need uh, my Goblin Engineer? What do you think, chat? Is there a world where I need my Goblin Engineer? Or should I just draw a card? Mm. Uh. Mm. They go crop rotation, they can't get Bajuka Bog, they can't... I think I'll draw. Nah, I don't want to actually. Because then they might like exile this somehow, I want to save it with another Goblin Engineer. A, I'll uh, take my turn. And draw. Bowmasters. That's not good at all. Uh, I guess I pass. End of turn. They plow my welder. Uh, do I want to switch something? Oh, right, Bowmaster stops the library. You're right. I didn't think about that. Uh, I guess I don't want to switch anything then. Does this thing go in the stock? I don't remember. I think I'll waste them. Is on three, do I just ping them? Thank you, Polukanos, for the 30th 13th month. That's a long time. Appreciate you. I'll just go face. So I wanted to use the mana from this, so I've read up think, to use it with to use Goblin Engineer. I 
Thank you, thank you, Polikanos. Appreciate the long time support. All right, point is a two life. They re they 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 decline the library. Otherwise, they die. I put this on the stock, and I play orc. They just choose no. If you do, wait, did I have the win there? I think it's a May, right? If they put that on the stack, ah, they just choose no whenever it arrives. Never mind. Yeah. We're a hold behind this engineering bridge. I don't have uh, two red mana to switch it with Goblin Engineer, though. Honestly, I don't know how cool it is. Per I, I would prefer if this thing w wasn't a thing in on Magic Online. It's very confusing. I think like it's cool like what, the first time, and then you're like, ah, you know what? I'd rather I'd rather my cards just be normal. It's it's confusing. Yeah. Nah, point is gonna plus one grace, so yeah, four blockers. Alright, then plus. Wow, it milled Zenith. That's a bomb. You wonder what the intended purpose of Painter was? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, they're gonna combat, they can't attack. And they pass. Do I want to switch something? No, that's on top. Couldn't spot here. Wow. What were my thoughts when Grace was released? That doesn't seem very good, right? Grace? Nobody expected it to do too much. He's basically only played in Zenith deck. And not, yeah, Zenith deck. That's it. Why did Wildmonger change colors? Ooh, that's a question of the past, too. Oh, yeah, I guess they didn't know about it. I, I, I forgot. They couldn't use uh, the library because of my work. Bowmaster, my Bowmaster, a very common. A very common play. Ooh, they're minus two. What do you kill? Goblin Engineer. Just taking back, this is game one. It's taking a long time, looks like. Hey, they minus Grist and they killed the other engineer. Uh okay. Nico Prismatic ending here. Alright, yeah. Looks like my opponent managed to win this game. GG. Actually, I'm not dead. Wait, what if I just stop deck? Oh, I can't. I can't cast orc. Wow, we're actually so close to win. Is there a card that saves me? I don't think so. When it fetches onto one? Wait, if I draw a red lamp, 
If I draw Elemental Blast now, I have an out now. I didn't have an out before. All right. Red Elemental Blast. Come on. We have six in our decks. It's five, maybe. Can't fetch, right? Die. One, two, three. Red Elemental Blast. Boom. Saga. All right. GG. Close game, though. If they just didn't fetch there, I had no outs. <sighs> would have been cool. It would have been cool. Alright, so we're bringing Fury, uh, what else? Pithin Needle, Bone the Ley Lines, nah, Orc. How many Blasts do I take out? All of them? Yeah. Uh, do I bring in a couple of moon? Because I bring in obviously the moon is wrong. I think what we'll ley line? Whatever is the saga in this deck? Should I bring in all the ley lines? That is so bad. I want to bring in ley lines. I also don't like Lotus Special in this matchup, and also Goblin Welder. Mean. I have a I have a magic three ley line by three ley line of the void number. Let's go. Fable first, yes. Have I drawn Fable in any of the games? Well, I've played only three games. But no, I haven't drawn it. If I was building a Legacy Delver list, which would you build? Uh, I showed it before. You can check on the Fireball and I can check out my article about Rixis. Rixis Delver. It's a free article. I read for Channel Fireball over a, a, an article a week, so a lot of my content goes there. Ooh, Goblin Welder. I feel like I'm going Goblin Welder instead of Painter. They go Orc. It's annoying, but at least they don't waste on me. Okay. Knight of the Reliquary. Go. Okay, no wasteland again. Or almost, because obviously I can. You prismatic ending the welder. It's dead. I've ever played Legacy Ninja. <laughs> In the very, very long, distant past. I think if you go to YouTube, you'll find. Uh, Almost every any arc that I've played. Let's see, Ninja and Gucci Legacy. I like sometimes to do this. Three years ago, Grixis Ninja, Blue Black Ninja. Three years ago, six years ago, Legacy Ninja Mid Range. Three years ago, six years ago, four years ago. Uh, use Zenith for two. Oh no, they're getting the the uh, collector oof there. The collector oof. 
uh, maybe I should have just went mountain. I guess they were going to wasteland my saga anyway. Honestly, if they wasteland in my badlands, it would be a disaster. Um, yeah. I think I'll have to go for a um, to go for Common Engineer, put the thing in the graveyard. They have to get Bazooka Bog, which I guess is all right. Be a goof. Careful for a attack. No, I guess I stay back. But it doesn't seem like I'm winning. One is very much able to disrupt my plan here. Oh, pick the needle. That's a great draw. And then that or the reliquary. I guess they they just start attacking me with this and it's huge. Yeah, this is second time playing against this deck today. Before with death and taxes, and now with this. Well, this deck top aided the mox, I believe. Uh, finished eighth place. Yeah, today I want to make an article and a video for Channel Fireball about the all the Mox event. Because again, it was won by this deck, but it had a pretty cool um, variety of decks. I still don't want to attack. What's that? Or the bigger? Right, I'll give up. I will give up. Or the bigger now. I just no way I can get back into the game. Take a bathroom break. I'll come back. Round number three. My hand is excellent. I wonder how to sequence it. I think it always starts with Land Goblin Welder. This is the biggest threat. When it starts with a grief. Okay, they can reanimate it. All right, they discarded the painter servant, and then I go land ritual. What else? Animate that the grief. Discard wall grindstone, I guess. Sure. And then you also thought is my no. Hmm. Goblin Engineer uh, would have put in the graveyard. So next time I can go Ancient Tomb, but make a Construct. But I don't really think it matters too much. I think I got this game in the bag. Um, I just put the Dragon Engine. Oh, I guess... Oh no, yeah. It's not good to reanimate the dragon engine. It says uh, if it comes from your graveyard. I really wish they just didn't have this two fuse card to, along with it. Yes.
this play so rarely matters. Like going all in on grief when you play reanimator is maybe they don't play a reanimator. Ah, they do, they have dead. Anyway, let's untap, draw. And uh I just pass. I really don't have any I have my counter spell up now. There's no I guess it's I think it's possible impossible to lose. Yeah, exactly. Whenever the reanimator deck does the turn one grief, reanimate. It's honestly the game is where you're most likely to win. Um mm. This seems fine. I'll keep it all the power blasts, although maybe that's too many. Nah, I think these cards are just all bad. Yeah. Maybe Bray as a print is better than a power blast. Okay. Uh, this would be amazing to keep game one in the dark, but we're post cyber against the uh, reanimator. I have seven um seven sideboarded cards to open on the draw. So I think I should mulligan at least once for it. Or for Grizzle Brand. I think it's just unlikely scenario. Epoxy is the fable away, and then they go ancient tomb, so they were not playing reanimator. Huh. I, mean, I, I did not expect that. I guess I should have kept the first hand. It was amazing against the new deck. But they play anime dead. He plays anime dead in a deck that's not reanimated. Man, that, that first hand would have won this game so easily. A hand is completely non functional now. The one ring. Alright. Demon Fire, woo, 29 months. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Long time support. It's okay, it's just one Fury. They probably have Karn in their deck. I don't mind having the Fury. In my hand. Yeah, they can discard it and reanimate it. I have the turn one saga, turn two tomb start. All right, grief again, but uh, honestly, now them discarding fury is a real thing. My plan is just to Saga, turn two, and turn three, and just ignore my hand, but they can't reanimate this. Yeah, maybe it was a mistake that I kept it in. May have one out of four I have. I get punished for that. It's bad. No, I discarded it. Rachel, Rachel, Shieldred, draw, take two, Pyroblast,
I read something on Twitter that they plan to add uh, some of the uh, cards like Chaos Defiler when um, the Eldraine set comes out. Draw, I got a 10. Uh, tap the tomb, but got an 8. And what do I fetch? I think I like Mox Opal. Moxopal, let's go um, Goblin Engineer. And let's put the Painter Servant in the graveyard. And then I want to pass, just, just in case. I don't think the race matters now. I can reanimate my fury. No. They cycle troll, get out of the ground soon. And they pass. On tap. Go to five. Um I think I like to Hello Watashi, how's it going? I think I like to random it paint your servant. We want to play this land. Uh, this land is very bad. I don't want to play this land. Maybe, maybe I should. No, I should. I should play this land. You think they removal stuff for my engine for my painter? I don't think so. I want to suck this. Yeah. Flame blue. What's that? Cling to dust? Surgical trash. I your shield right now. How do I, how do I, how do I win this game? How do I dodge shield right now? What can my deck offer me? Do I have any outs? I think it's over. I just died to Shieldred. Fury? We'll talk about this, alright? I have one, it's in the graveyard. Can't combo anymore. They surgical my painters. I did. We did. Two children. Turn one children. Crazy lost this match. The three. Uh, 
how to play engineer. Up a needle in the graveyard. Then I can uh, either needle this ring, which I think is alright. Yeah, no, I, I don't have any outs. I just have to hold my opponent next turn blocks that protection this turn, so no reason to attack. Just that to shield it. Give me the block. They don't block. Uh, they do not block. My fury. Honorable Sepoku. Sepuku. Yes, Sepuku. Oh. What's the what's the thumbnail? Oh, it's grindstone with my face face up. Easy. It's easy grindstone with my face split. Did the loss hurt? It did. Cause game two, I modeling on the perfect hand and lost to just an awful hand. Round number four. Okay. Will the Red Limit of Blast be relevant for the first time in this league? These leagues are kind of like, you know, it's magical line leagues, of course, the level is chill. But usually, Painter is good against Blue Decks, and Blue Decks are very popular. Oh, there it is. Alright. I counter ponder. <laughs> I can't count it that way. Bro. Uh, I think I like the gym uh, fable this turn. The good days is okay. I'm getting this lands because I don't want them to waste on me. I think if I just go Goblin Engineer, it's it's worse. Let ponder now. They don't get delirium. Time for one. Uh. uh Let's go Goblin Engineer.
I think I just put like a random card direction dragon in here. Don't expect this guy to live very much. Okay. Still dawn of delirium, they're missing bubble or creature. They shuffle the graveyard. And pass? Wow, no removal spell. Actually, they could have still have it. I don't have any artifact to flip. Play Welder and pass. They cycle a timeless dragon. Ooh, they get delirium this way. That's fancy. I like it. I'm gonna play perfectly around my Pyroblast. Whenever I, uh, I was tapped out, I played blue cards. That's well played. Draw. Hmm. Yeah. I really wanted to title this video the best deck in Legacy right now, because that's what I believe. Although, this league definitely does not show does not show any any best of and now they you know this power blast <laughs> this is so awkward okay oh uh Maybe also Fury I want in this match. Yeah. Oh, the heal spell bomb is all right. Maybe two Fury is enough against Blue Red Delver, just Sky Delver. I don't have lands. I like to play just Badland Go now. And I'm calling for a Wasteland. Uh, I'll just untap. And now, uh, blast the Delver. Yeah, they don't wasteland. Sometimes you just want to hold the wasteland for, um... Or is a saga? They have four cards. Uh, do I want to just well power the Delver? Now, I think so. I don't want to use Fury. I'd rather, arc, I'd rather hold the Fury to our cast it. It's grind upkeep. Leave the card on the top. I guess I'm going to go for Gone, Fury Pitch, Bobby Welder, and keep Power Blast. Maybe that was alright.
Don't date me, bro. Don't date me, bro. Don't date me. Alright, I guess I can't call this video the best I can in Legacy then. And I got smashed. I got killed. I got so defeated in this game. Just look at me. I have, no I have nothing. I have nothing. Look at Public Horizon with the Blast. I yeah, use my blasts on Delver. If I go Fury, Pitch, Welder, hold the Pyro, I think I might actually have a chance in this game. A lucky games? I don't know. It doesn't seem like my opponent did anything special. Pyroblast or dead? Dead. Be another one three drop. Uh, not the best. Uh, not the best run for our deck. Hope you still enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you for next uh, legacy video.